So when you look at the course total, you should get an overall percentage and um, sort of a letter grade um, A, B, C, D. Uh, I think I have it programmed correctly so that what it claims is, is A is according to my grade breakdown, as in 85% and above. What it claims is B is 70% you know, and above, and so on. So um, that's the, that's the uh, best effort estimate that what your final course grade will be, um, assuming your final exam goes like your other exams so far. Um, I have it set up right now so that your midterm exams um, on paper counts for 60%. So 40% that midterms are supposed to count, plus the 20% that the final exam will count. So the, the, so the uh, what you see at the bottom here will be, that's the prediction, and I would say that for vast majority of people, that prediction will probably be true. If you are getting a C, um, then you'll probably end up with a C. Um, it, uh, so actually, this is one of the reasons I changed the final exam to cumulative for this semester. Um, so in the past semester, it's a sort of, um, you can, it's almost always easier to go down because you know if you just miss an exam, get a zero percent on an exam, then even an A would turn into a B, B would turn into a C. But it's very difficult to pull your grade up because what it comes down to is that you have missed so many points that you are mathematically eliminated from getting an A if you see yourself somewhere in the middle of B or you are mathematically eliminated from getting a B if you see yourself in the middle of C. So the reason I made the final exam cumulative this semester is so that I can give it a higher percentage of a grade. It's worth 20% of your grade instead of what it used to be, 15%. And also, because it's a cumulative exam, I think if I were to pick one exam to um, see how much someone understood the physics well, and that's really what I'm trying to base my grade on. If you didn't understand physics well, I don't want you to get a B or A. I want you to at least to pass, but if you, you know, if you have shown no understanding of physics, then you do not deserve a B or A. But if you want that to change, final exam is your chance. That's the chance where you can show some level of understanding of physics. And um, hopefully the grades will work out that way. If final exam is a big enough portion of your grade that if you do really well on the final, then um, like an upper level C can turn into a B. Or you know, uh, upper range B can turn into an A. On the other hand, if you do really poorly on the final, then you can you know, be the other way around too. But the grade I assign is, it, my goal is to assign a grade that reflects your level of understanding. If you only have a B level of understanding, then you should get a B. If you only, if you have no understanding of physics, but you have been putting in some effort throughout the semester, then I really do want you to pass. Um, but um, you know, you're not gonna get anything higher than a C if you haven't shown on mathematical and conceptual understanding of physics. So, um, so that's you know all the logistics, administrative stuff about the class and what's remaining. Um, so, so you know, you have not that much time to prepare for final, and most of what's important for your preparation for final um, is posted. I'm super behind on lecture videos, but it's uh, mainly because um, I know the video a few statistics that I know not that many people are watching anyway. So I don't think of that missing is actual, but you know, I'll get caught up, I'll post it all and then send out an announcement when it's done. But for, um, so let me point out the resources that are already on the course website that I think will be most helpful in some kind of an order, but it depends on the individual. For, so um, let me, I guess, describe for someone who's been keeping up with the material and isn't horribly behind. Uh, for that person, the most useful resource will be the last chapters of Portable TA. 
So this is the practice final exams and the, the last review problem set, which are all cumulative. When you look at it, you will see that this is chapters 1 through 22. It covers everything. These cover, um, well, so these are two practice finals that's also covering everything. So for someone who has been keeping up, you have done reasonably well on exams 1, 2, and 3, and you are just uh, wanting to make sure you didn't forget anything as you go into final, this is what uh, will help you the most. Um, so I guess that's more or less it. And you know, there's a post-sample exam. And you can look at the final exam study guide, but you will see that it doesn't have a lot because I mean, what else can I say? It covers everything. <laughs> it covers chapter 1 through 16. Now, it'll cover chapter 1, not that much. Chapter 1 was introduction, background, units. It's the kind of stuff that uh, you should know. You should know the prefixes. You should know the units. But that's not what the exam is really about. If you study real well on units, you're still not going to do all that well on the exam. Um, <laughs> And chapter, I think, 13, that's the fluids chapter. Um, as I say later in the um, here, it's going to be a fluids will be very small portion of the exam, so less than 10%. And you will see that in the posted sample final exam. When you look for fluids questions, it's essentially questions, the last three multiple choice questions, and you know, that's 6% uh, of your entire exam. So do know something about fluids, you know, don't skip it. But if you want to make the most uh, improvement, fluids and isn't where you should spend a lot of time. Um, so, so, you know, as you, look at, as you look at final exam study guide, you will see that it refers a lot to the previous study guides because that's uh, the, that's the cumulative final exam. Really, the purpose is to test you on everything you have. You are supposed to have learned this semester. So, um, the only, the one thing that's new, fluids, it's not emphasized at all. It's less than 10% of the exam. Um, let's see. Mm. Yeah. So you know, study guide doesn't really have much. Now, so for someone who's trying to get caught up, as in. Um, so, you know, the, the positive aspect of your final exam being cumulative and worth the 20%, I think it can actually, uh, without me doing anything special, um, it can reverse the damage that's been done to your grade by maybe one bad midterm exam. If you do well on the final exam, it's uh, worth enough percentage that uh, it can make up for one bad midterm. As in, you know, you've been doing well, you've been at a level where you could have gotten an A, and you had a bad midterm that turned your grade into a B. If you do well enough on the final, then, you know, that'll put you back on track. Um, or, you know, if you are right in the range for B. So, you know, um, so with the final exam, what I would tell you to focus on is focus on your weaknesses as revealed through the exams that you have taken. Um, so, so that would be really my number one advice for someone who wants to do better on the final exam than you have done so far. So you have all three exams, uh, all three midterm exams, and all the answers to all three midterm exams. Um, and you know what you missed. And ideally, if you are a good student, this is what you should have done the minute you got your exam back and the minute the answers were posted. You should have looked up, you know, what questions did I miss, and um, you know, what's the correct answer, and knowing that that's the correct answer, do, can I now understand it? If uh, you didn't understand it, bring that question to a tutor or me or somebody to have it explained. That's what you should have done if you consider yourself a good student. But you know, maybe no one told you that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm now giving you advice that that's what you should do as you are preparing for the final exam. You know which questions you missed on your final, you, I mean, sorry, midterm. You have your midterm exam, and all the answers are here. All the answers to the multiple choice, and the, you know, these are all there. And um, what I would tell you is, so everyone misses something on an exam. Like there's, it's a, even if you are, no matter how many hours you put in, no matter how smart you are, no matter how much effort you put in, you are going to miss something. 
So there's that you know there's no no this crazy expectation that um, you should have gotten every problem right. You are going to miss some questions. Uh, but uh, what I would say, um, I think this is a this is a reasonable expectation that you need to set for yourself, that you never miss the same question twice. As in, you you know you see a question on the midterm and you know you missed it or whatever. And if I were to give the same question on the final, then you should not miss it. I mean, that's just a that's just a matter of being a good student. Like if you can do that, so you know any question that's on an exam is something that's important you know for me to you know use uh, the limited space I have on the exam. And if you can do at least that, where you miss the question and you're gonna you miss it again the second time you see it, then apparently you're gonna miss it again the third time, say fourth time you see it. Um, if that's where you are happy being, then um, you know you are. Just going through the motions, you are not actually being a good student because you are literally not learning anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you can say that you have learned something, then you would at a minimum learn not to miss a question, multiple, same question multiple times. So, um, so for the final exam, this is the first time I'm giving cumulative final, so I don't have. Um, way I have written final exams before, but I can describe how I have written final exam for uh, one of my other classes before. Uh, I have given cumulative final for my um, uh, physics 4B class. And one semester, one thing I did was um, for the multiple choice section of the final exam, I went through all the midterms to see which questions people were missing, and you know anyone, anything that people more than like 50% of the people miss, I put those on the final. I'm not saying that I will do that for your final, although good chunk of that might be that. Um, so you already know that I'm not. Um, I do reuse questions. So when you have a exam of 20 questions, not all. Well, a good chunk of those 20 questions are something that you have seen before. For the final exam, we are going over the topics we have gone through again. So you might see the questions that you already saw in the midterm on the final exam again. But, and you know, all of this is done with hope that you, uh, people would improve. But you can only improve if you are studying. And the way you ought to study is with the mindset that anything that you missed the first time around, you have no excuse for missing it a second time. Because even if it was a really difficult question, like, I don't know if this is difficult. Well, even if it was a really difficult question, in which case, you know, it's entirely reasonable for you to have missed it the first time. Um, second time, like, like, what's the excuse for missing a second time? Other than that, um, you didn't put in the effort. So, um, so I guess, um, that's uh, um, so yeah. So the past exams, that's probably the next best resource you have as you are preparing for the final exam. And um, the homework is always the best guide to what you are supposed to be learning. The only hesitation at this point would be that you have too many homework questions now. So um, I mean, you know, um, I mean, yeah, there are too many homework questions now to review between now and the final. So um, anything that you didn't review, uh, I don't know if there's enough time for you to review it now. Um, but midterm exams, it's not that many questions. Each exam, so you know, there's total of 60 multiple choice questions that you have tried something at and uh, missed a chunk of it. <laughs> uh, there's uh, three times, so about nine uh, free form answer questions that you have seen. Um, you will see that with the posted uh, sample final, so the uh, posted sample final exam, almost all the multiple choice questions are something that was already in the posted sample midterm exams. So it's to reflect that I'm going to be reusing quite a bit chunk of questions. I will probably write some new questions. Um, but when you look at the, the free form answer question, you will notice that more of them are new. I mean, this diagram is new. You have seen this diagram. But when you actually read through the question, you will see that actually a good chunk of it is new. 
because as I was saying before, final exam is an opportunity for me to ask a question that ties together everything you have done in this class. Kinematics, force, energy and momentum. And um, I haven't had that opportunity yet, so I'm gonna use it. So you see that um, in some of these questions. So, um, so yeah, there's um, not a lot of time remaining and um, I, you, you are taking other classes as well. So you are, the, uh, you are in the best position to judge how you should prioritize your time. And um, you know, look at your Moodle grade book. If you are happy with uh, where you are, like you are, you are where, where you pretty much expect it to be. And um, you know, you've, if you are getting a C right now, you've always gotten C's in your classes and you never expect it to any better. I can change your expectation. And um, so if you want to stay where you are, you can probably continue to do what you have been doing. You know, so if you're getting an A and you wanted to get an A and you're getting an A, then you know, you're not a, you shouldn't be in panic mode. You should just do what you've been doing and you'll be fine. Um, but if you want to do significantly better than what you have been doing, then, um, then this is my study advice. Look, at, look back at your past exams, see what areas you're weak in and make sure you en uh, enforce those areas so that if you see the same question twice, you don't miss it.